All right, so what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be installing the parts for my front camber. What I have, I'll show you guys what, what parts I got. I got the LCAs and I also got the camber bolts because I have no camber bolts right now. It's just the stock camber with the plates that I can't use. So it's stock camber. So I'll show you guys that and uh, let's see how it goes. So this is currently how it sits, it's uh, literally no camber at all, it's just straight. Same with the other side. So what I got done is just the LCA with the ball joint pushed out more so that I can increase the camber to the bottom on here. So all I have to do is take out this LCA uh, put the sensor back in spot and I'm also replacing the end links while it's out good bad so it should be pretty straightforward all right so you can see here this is the one I just took out and this is the one with the plate on it so it's gonna push the ball joint outside more so that the wheel uh, tilts out from the bottom and I'm also gonna do the camera bolts so it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna install it and then put the wheel back on and put the camber bolts and put the wheel back on see how much camber that gives me so this is day two of working with the lower control arms the, the extended lower control arms the issue I'm running to is that the tie rods are not long enough I believe I'm gonna try to make sure my steering wheel was straight and everything and then uh, put the tie rod back in to see I was told that it should work. If not, I'm gonna have to get the tie rods extended as well. All right, so I did end up finishing the car. What I had to do, like I said, like I said in that previous clip, uh, the tie rod was too short, so I got this to extend it for now. It's like a, so I just got a, a stud that goes into the tie rod end and then I just tighten it into the inner tie rod and this is an extension so it can go in and out so that they can do the alignment and get the toe down to zero and I did that on both sides I did order a different piece this is just for now um, because it doesn't have like a locking locking nut since there's not enough space I did order a different piece that might work a little bit better and I did both sides. So on this side, this is the passenger side. Um, this one was adding this extension, was giving it too much toe in. So it was pushing, so it was pushing the rear of the wheel too outwards, like as, as if it was turned to the left. So I had to cut this outer tie rod shorter. And in, on both sides, I had to cut the inner tie rods a little bit shorter because they were too long to add this extension and um, so that would get my toe down to zero and same thing with this one I did order a different piece this is just for now uh, I wasn't able to put a locking nut because there's not enough space in between as you can see there and then I also installed the camera bolts and everything so let's see so so after all that, at drive height, right now, it's only at negative six and a half. Like it's not even crazy. Um, so I am gonna slot the top strut or the top bolt of the strut and shave down the spindle. Because like I said, I'm trying to get to negative 12 in the front and back, so both. And right now, at drive height it's negative six and a half and I want drive height to be around negative twelve. So yeah after doing the LCA the camera bolts and messing with the top plates it's only sitting at negative six and a half in the front so I still see it's not not even that much so I am gonna slot the top of the strut and shave the spindle so that I'm able to push in the hub 
more towards the top. So it does tuck nice. But before it was uh, rubbing really bad. And it's literally on the floor. The bottom piece of the bumper is there. So once I add, or once I get new wheels and stuff, you know, get funded to lip and add more camber, it'll look way better. Come on. 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 Come on.